What's going on everyone, Seth Miranda here, coming to you from above the world famous Comedy Cellar right here in the middle of Greenwich Village of New York City. And we're in their podcast studio. Some of the biggest names in the industry come through the Comedy Cellar and our friend Robert Kelly has a podcast network up here where he grabs that talent and has interviews and all types of shows run out of this space. Now during the pandemic, Robert worked really hard on his home setup to do really clean looking Zoom type uh, interviews and interface like that. But here, once he got back to work, he realized it looks like garbage for some reason. And I basically told him the main problem is the lighting. And if you look around, we have some really soupy, green, warmish kind of weird lighting, mainly from this chandelier, which is really not meant for production, obviously. So we're gonna try to get him some better skin tones, softer light patterns, better shadows, stuff like that. There's gonna be a few challenges though. We're in a small space, right? So we need to figure out a system that one, doesn't block all the cameras filming him and all the talent, Two, that will light them cleanly all evenly and have quick enough fall off from the guest to this back wall, which isn't too far away. That allows us to have shadow back here that we can then fill in with whatever kind of light we want, making the space seem a little bit bigger, separating them from the background more, giving them a little more production value. So this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge, but I think we're up for it today. So let's get started and see what we can do for our man, Robert Kelly. All right, for our key light, we're gonna go with the Nanlite FS300. It's a nice, relatively inexpensive light that puts out about 24,000, 25,000 lumens. It's also 5,600K daylight, really nice, clean looking light, and a lot of power for the situation that we're in. Also, Super quiet, and this is the entire light. There's no like ballast or anything in line. You're just gonna plug in an AC cable direct. So since it's going in the ceiling, I don't have to worry about where I'm gonna mount all the rest of it. It's already here, and I just worry about getting it to the wall to some power, and we're good to go. Now, what do I do with this light to make it even for everybody and a little softer, more diffused to get some specular highlights down, stuff like that? Well, we're gonna go with this Nan light. Lantern Softbox 80. So this is a lantern. It is a little different than other lanterns. It does have more of a little bit of a direction to it, but pretty much we're gonna have it in the middle of this table and it's gonna go in 360 degrees to evenly somewhat light everybody at the table, depending on their distance to it, obviously. But it will soften up our light, it'll make it bigger, it'll diffuse it. And we also have these skirts here to work around it and roll it up however much we want and Velcro it into place. You can really fine tune how much of a spread you get off of this lantern. It was exactly what we need in this area so that we're not spilling onto the background so much. Remember, we want that fast fall off to hit. So we go to shadow quickly. So we then fill in that shadow with whatever we're gonna do up here. So with just a super clamp to a conveniently placed pipe that the maintenance man put in there for us, he also took down the light for us, so it was nice and safe, no electrical problems or possible fire hazards or anything like that. So we clamped it with a super clamp that has a knuckle already built in, a grip arm. It's the same thing you would see on a C-stand. Put in a 5 8 uh, baby pin, which is the coffin nail or whatever you guys want to call it. And that allows us to have movement around, but also pointing straight down while clamped to that pipe. Now we also have the yoke and we can spin this thing around, we can pivot it, we can tilt it however we want to go. Obviously we want to go straight down, there's the best option. And it's as high up to the ceiling as I could get so that they have clearance for the cameras. All right, so this skirt helps us control basically the spread. Think of it like barn doors maybe. It goes down pretty low, we can keep it kind of central, but obviously there's camera angles, there's people have to see each other, and of course, we just want it to be spreading around the table in a nice even fashion. So it's kind of like this bold out softbox effect. You can actually see that it's, it's convexing out. So it's giving just a little edge light to every person on the table. Yeah, they're not all at the same distance, but it's as close as we can get. And then that minimizes the spill onto the back, which then we can have as, as much shadows we can back there. So then the track lighting can become the RGB bulbs and Robert can make every show look different. Every host have their own background and all sorts of things like that. Nice options, versatile and looks clean and relatively easy. All right, so that's pretty much the setup. As you can see, it's kind of a night and day type difference, right? We had this warm greenish type hue from the light that was in here before, including the warm tungsteny flood bowls behind Robert and his guests and that weird chandelier that was so decorative, but pretty bad to film in. The way I look at production, a lot of professionals on set look at it is light beats the lens, lens beats camera. Light is the most important thing. It doesn't matter what you're recording with it. If it's garbage, it's garbage. How do you think about the setup? I mean, I love the new setup. First of all, it bothers me that you say that I'm the third thing. Like talent is it's light, <laughs> lens, and then me. I'm like the last. Thing. It's not about it's, you. It's never about it's, you. It's really, it's funny because just sitting here now, having filmed the show before, the, I, the conversation is so much better because your face, all I'm seeing is you. 
So, like, I, I'm engaged in you while you're talking to me when you're doing that. As before, everything kind of just faded in. Oh, like, yeah. It was just flat. One gross light. And, 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 and I think you said it. You get, I got tired. I was like, I kind of started getting like, all right, an hour in. I'm like, I think I'm, I think I'm done with this. You know what I mean? But it's, it's uh, a million times better. From, from talent perspective, it's not just a cleaner image. It's also an atmosphere for you to be who you are, right? When you're doing a podcast, yeah. It's, it's, it allows you to focus in on your guests, which I didn't even know that it, that was a thing. Yeah. You know, I didn't understand how important light was. Well, to be fair, you've been stuck in a shed staring at a screen. But I look great. <laughs> I mean, you guys at Adorama made me look great. Oh, I am the, They call me the king of Zoom. No, no, you call you the king of Zoom. Oh, I, I mean, just want you to know that. They, I don't care what your I license mean, plate says, buddy. I'm part of that. <laughs> I think I'm part of that if when I said that. <laughs> yeah, I can't thank you enough because this changed the game. Oh, changed no. the game. More than happy, and we're super big fans, and we're really glad that we can add to another creative outlet, which is comedy. I mean, you guys are uh, just content creators just like everybody else, and it's about time you guys clean up your act and learn how to actually do this. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to get people to figure out light, <laughs> lens, and then talent. You're getting there. You're getting there. You, you, you learned some terms. It's cool, though. But uh, listen, man, I, I can't wait to see how this goes on. Of course, we're going to tweak it and evolve it as yeah. we go forward. We're going to do a test run right now. Yeah. So uh, do us a favor. Write a comment down below. Let us know what you think about the setup the, between the before and after. Don't forget to hit like, Sheds video around. Hit subscribe plus the bell to get notified when more videos like this come out. And check out the links below for Robert Kelly's uh, podcast network and maybe some of his social. He's a little lonely. You can go ahead and follow I'm very lonely. Yes, I, I'm in a shed a lot of the time. <laughs> but I look good. <laughs> That's it. I uh, light these lens. Actually. All right, whenever you're ready. <laughs> uh. All right, ready? <laughs>